Alright, let's see here. There's 150 experience until level 50. I've done a little bit of main story quest. Should be able to buy a little bit more energy. Let's see if we can get this. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's my level 50. Fantastic. Now, we've unlocked Radio Forging at level 55. We've unlocked all of the new missions. Before starting all the quests, let's get everyone up to speed. Because this is now 21,000 experience points for one rank. Everyone up to 50, everyone up to rank 10. Starting to use the legendary medals too. Five more levels. I think I would rather get invulnerable to be honest, because I, so I can use her to properly tank stuff. Uh, yeah, five more levels. I was expecting this to start going up and to start going up by quite a bit. But 20k per level, yeah, that's a bit much. Uh, as from here, yeah, Angel I still sometimes use. But at least I've been trying in PvP, not that big a fan of it. Uh, same thing goes with Lightning and Tempest. Uh, Stinger I want to wait. Honestly, don't really use that many of these units. But yeah, we need 12. Uh, I think Ballista I might still bring up at least until I get Lily Will. I'm thinking Stinger, I'm thinking Abyss because I've been using her as a tank for one of the weapon stages. Uh, some of these might have to go up to mainly to be used in the weapon farming stages since they have some nice utility like defense down to attack down too. But I want to wait a little bit longer for these ones. Uh, 55 in training level up. I uh, don't think I need to worry about anything in here. I think if anything I might want to bring up the Tarots. See how big the experience dump is for the Tarots from level 50 to level 60. Especially considering that 60 should be the max. Now they should be getting the extra skills. Okay, that's our level up training done. 59,000 points. All trials at 55, start trials at 55. Okay, a Radiant Forging Pioneer get. More of these, which again, uh, will start becoming useful tomorrow. Oh god, the weapon levels. I do wonder how expensive the weapon levels are going to be now. But for now, that's our challenge quest for the Radiant Memento. 150,000 Radiant Powder. I really hope the game counts all this energy when it comes to unlocking the next stages. Oh yeah, it does basically nothing. And yeah, I think we can just full auto this. That guy got triple countered. And that's number three. Okay, cool. We have 37 left. We need to wait a little bit for the 40s. So one thing I need to check now is the tarots. Sadly, many of these aren't even all that good, especially because once they get to level 60, they can unlock new skills. So some of the important ones are on barrel. Again, only one magic attack, non-percentage, don't really like this. But at level 60, Barrel gets two stacks of Devil for each enemy that dies. That's 3% attack and defense, up to 30%. It's going to make it way, way easier to stack everything up. And it looks like from 50 to 60, it's only 24k and 12k. 
cool. I've got plenty of resources here. Uh, this one is only crit, doesn't tell crit damage at 60. Burst of Fortune, I honestly really like this. Somehow you can get something that doesn't give you anything. Deals 10% piercing damage, combining magic and physical attack in a 3 tiles radius. It's not so bad. It can trigger bombs and traps, so you need to be careful even more when it comes to positioning your units around traps. Attack and defense by 8%, but the best part about this one is the energy regen. This helps Mitha a lot. Then we have a 10% damage reduction. Not that big, but it's a 10% damage reduction. And lastly, 10% heal in a 3 tile radius, combining attack, physical and magical. Once you get these at level 60, you get a second buff every single turn, which makes them pretty decent, especially for supports. For something like pure damage dealers, we've got Devil here to 3% attack and defense disease pretty damn amazing. I'm just bringing this one up for stats mostly, but yeah, they will need to be replaced. Uh, this one give a little bit of extra healing, not sure if I want to keep on leveling them up. I think maybe on some sort of tank, especially for the weapon stages, they might not be that bad. But yeah, these ones are definitely low on the priority scale. These ones though, extra energy recovery on standby and skill cooldown reduction on standby. I do think I want one of these leveled up for Samantha for level 55 once she gets the new skill because that thing is hella heavy. Like this one has a 3 energy cost, 5 turns to cooldown, she gives a tier 3 damage reduction, tier 3 healing received for 2 turns and she gains extra regeneration for 1 turn, expanding the trait up to 5 tiles compared to the two that she currently has. Since she doesn't really need to cast other skills, she must just cast this one and go on standby. She will still consume energy to heal, but she's going to heal up to 5 tiles and up to 5 times every single turn. By going on standby, this one is going to go on a 4 turn cooldown, so damage reduction and healing received might actually have a 2 out of 3 turns uptime which is honestly quite amazing. Uh, these ones I've also been using, they convert one debuff into a buff. At 60, they start converting two debuffs into two buffs, but not really a big fan of these. And one thing I would really appreciate them doing would be a level up to 50 button right here. Uh, these ones only bring damage reduction. Might be useful for some of the weapon farming stages, but other than that, I don't really know. 20% damage reduction. Doesn't even sound that bad. Okay, let's see. 50, 50, 60. 50, 50, 60. Again, she gets the extra skill as well. Uh, not a big fan of the non-percentage stats in here, but this is probably one of the best pieces I've got right now. 50, that's another one that's really, really good. Once that is wasted, physical attack is okay, magic defense is sort of fine, but the extra damage for the multi-hits, this is amazing. Something like this would be perfect both on her as well as barrel. Now the things that actually hurt. Weapons. Um, capping them to 60 is not going to be that expensive it looks like, but we only have 300,000 dust. How expensive is this? And what the? A hundred and sixty? I can get two weapons. No, not even. I can't even get two weapons up. Because this is hundred and sixty. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it looks like the grinding is going to slow down and slow down a lot from now on. Okay, what else? Uh, five rank up trial. <laughs> Uh, also, kind of curious, I've seen the devil stack, you actually get the double message for two stacks of devil rather than one. And there we go. But yeah, with the double uh, wheel, it's not that much, but it's still like 
800-ish heal every single turn. Uh, keeps everyone nice and healthy, and it also puts a lot of pressure out of the main healer. There we go. 60 energy, and we clear the stage 14. Uh, log in after 16 pm, and I don't know which clock this goes on to because it is currently 1602. Please give me this energy. <laughs> I don't think I can pick things up anywhere else because I've already expanded all I could, uh, I've already burned everything. I even done the 300 energy consumption from here. I need another potion because I've reached the limit as well. 2000 years later. Okay, for the energy, we are here, we're almost done. Uh, this is a bit of a weird map because this is where they absolutely love falling into traps. I absolutely love seeing the devil step go up. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, can't wait to get a few more characters with a proper devil tarot. So everyone just keeps getting double stacked every single time. Gotta love the artificial intelligence here. Really? That getting two stars because your units just kill themselves on top of traps? This stings. Now please tell me it counted even with two stars. Okay, yeah, it counted, thankfully. Voyage Memento, and that's our level 22. See, 6 9, 6 10, already done. That's at least another uh, little bit of mats. All classes, tarots up to level 60. Two destroyer characters to rank 10 and 12 characters to 52. That is a crap ton of mats though. Especially happy for the 100k radiant powder. Now, challenge quest for 15, clear hub mode 611, 12 pieces of gear at level 50 or above. That's done too. Another 250k radiant powder. Wait, that's it? There's still plenty of stages here. Not to mention a familiar radiant powder. <laughs> this is mouth-watering. It's still a little bit far away. I think we're going to have to clear all the stages at max level to get this. But uh, yeah, need. <laughs> Absolute need. But other than that, yeah, no, looks like we're done here. Next is going to be 10 summons. Trinket, choose wisely. Not a big fan of the Mystery Guardian. It's only when attacked from the front. Uh, not a big fan of the crystal burst armor. I do like the heads though. Immunity to disrupt is way too good. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick a fourth one, because again, one of the assassins has the maverick cloak, Beryl has the ranged damage reduction, she's fine with this one, and I managed to get the hunter intuition for Faisal, which I think is going to just keep still. The ones I'm looking forward to the most, other than the other 20 rolls here, is definitely going to be the second weapon, right at the end, phase 20. Mostly because I haven't gotten lucky yet, and I haven't been able to get a weapon for my barrel, either Diffusing Prism or Resentment Room. Either of these would be amazing for the little caster, but I just didn't manage to get lucky yet. Um Valeria Squad Assembly Order. Honestly, I would pick Revia here, as I would love to get Revia up to 5 stars as soon as possible. But at the same time, Revia is currently up to 3 stars, she's at 89 out of 100, and the fourth one only brings a little bit of extra damage. He's going to get this in like a week, maybe, but Metha is a little bit farther behind, 22 out of 100. And this one gives a heal to a second unit. 
Since I've been using Meta basically everywhere, I think I may want her up to 4 star as soon as possible. So this one is going to Meta. Yeah, 72 out of 100. So, uh, level 93. Again, no pushes, no nothing feels a little bit weird. But yeah, even if we want to do something like this, then Cole gets removed and we need someone else fast over here. Okay, so starting out, I think it's going to be always the same. Uh, training dummy, move down, buff. Uh, for the attack, I guess I might hit this too. Uh, see if they destroy the flag. Buy myself a little bit of time. And get back over here. Rivia takes over Cole's job. And down here, basically the same thing. Calm and guard. Uh, do I want to double attack? <laughs> That's the big question. Because we're also going to get hit by the ranged units over here. Now I think we're chilling. This round we're chilling. These two waste a little bit of time down there. That's fantastic. That's great news. Take this out. Take this out. Okay, interruption number one. And thankfully, this guy doesn't one shot. So we can now go in here and teach him a lesson. Ah, uh, really? Come on. Kill it, please. What a waste. What an absolute waste. Uh, no, if I do this, this is not going to end well. Looks like this is my only actual option. Unless I get the flag back. But even if I get the flag back, I can only attack the guys up here. Double attack time. Okay, that's a good start. Resso. Uh, this guy's also going to come down here. That guy can shoot. I don't want to leave this guy leaving another turn though. Okay, good dodge. And now we need to start worrying about these guys. Come and tank. It is a crap ton of damage, but at the same time, they're done. They're both done. Uh, get back in the dust and attack this one. Uh, if they have this swap ready. Good, it's going on the one without shield. Okay, she's still alive too. Uh, I think I need to push her away from this area so I can put another mannequin down. If I don't put the mannequin down, uh, she's going to counter. So you come over here. Okay, nice res. Hit the mannequin, fantastic. Uh, this one moves for fourth, but we should still be fine. And now I dare you. Swap. Nice. Uh, rock climbing, but doesn't really give me anything. I think I might just come over here and stun this guy the moment he moves instead. Okay, round six. Everyone's nice and healthy. You are trapped. Nah, nah, nah. You're gone. <laughs> You're absolutely gone. And 
And that's the entire team still alive too. Zero losses. Uh, we can also afford to lose someone before uh, going to take this thing down. And let's face it, that someone is likely going to be Faisal. Uh, we need to tank one hit, which Meitha can do easily. There we go, that's one. And that's two. God, this gave me so many issues. But at least that's 9-3 fast. But without energy, without anything, I guess that's going to be it for me for the moment. As always, thanks a lot for coming by. Good luck with the rest of your grind and see you guys around soon. Ciao! Oh,